Hey guys, back at it. Today, last video, we talked about gasoline direct injection versus port fuel injection. Today, we're going to talk about an attributed negative flaw that comes with gasoline direct injection, which is oil burning. Oil burning is what it sounds like when you have engine oil in your engine that gets so hot or so crudded up somewhere that it just burns up and then you lose oil. And then you unfortunately have to keep checking your oil, make sure you're adding it, otherwise your engine will burn itself dry. Why does this happen? It's a very simple thing that I can show you guys right here. So this is a combustion chamber drawn out basically for you. We've got a spark plug, we've got our intake, we've got our fuel injector, we've got our exhaust, and we've got our piston head, okay? I told you in the last video that with gasoline direct injection, gasoline direct injection fires straight into the cylinder head instead of coming in with the intake, meaning that the intake is not cleaned with the solvent that is gasoline. So because there's no solvent in here to build up, to clean out the buildup, carbon buildup happens inside of this chamber. And carbon clunking up inside here can lead to increased heat. And the increased heat causes the oil that is lubricated throughout this cylinder to get too hot and uh, bunch up and kind of just like harden in place. And then eventually burn itself out because it gets too hot. Oil, like a lot of other things, can be burned if you've ever looked on a stove and you've put like say olive oil on it and you've left it on there for too long you'll see it starts to smoke and it eventually starts to not evaporate but burn away the same thing can happen with engine oil if engine oil gets too hot and this is a, not, again another reason why we have cooling systems and engines so basically all this buildup right here is going to create too much heat and oil can stick in here and it can burn up and get burnt same thing can happen on the piston head here there's oil constantly coming into the piston head. I obviously have the sides of the piston head like exaggerated right now, but these are very thin sides. Like I'm talking like probably not even a millimeter of space, but oil gets put in here to lubricate between the side of the piston head and the wall that it goes with so that it doesn't drag on the wall and get worn out. And then you can keep your compression without like having there be like leaks of air and then you can't make as much power from the compression that needs to happen. So when the oil gets built up in here and gets hot because the crud that's in the intake may start to make its way into the combustion chamber and it can eventually start to build itself up on the cylinder head and when it builds up on the cylinder head this oil that's lubricating it on the sides as it's moving up and down can also get too hot and then it can start to stick onto this and then it can burn up and then it can be burnt and that is how oil is burnt in gasoline direct injection engines and another design flaw in a modern world technology it's also interesting to note too, that because gasoline direct injection creates better atomization of fuel, this better atomization of fuel is going to create increased heat. So never mind the fact that carbon can build up in your intake. You also need to keep in mind that the increased atomization creates a stronger combustion reaction and the stronger combustion reaction is gonna create more heat. I know I'm kind of repeating myself here and it's going to cause the oil to also simultaneously start to build up on the walls and intake and walls of the cylinder and exhaust and all that because the increased heat isn't designed there. Engines weren't designed to have gasoline direct injection. Now I'm sure over the next few years, there's going to be better built engines for this. Toyota, I've already said in the last video, is doing something for this where they have multi-point fuel injection, where they have gasoline direct fuel injection into the cylinder head so they can get the stronger combustion reaction but they also have gasoline being sprayed into the exhaust like normal port fuel injection so that this carbon doesn't build up to start alleviating the effects of oil burning and carbon buildup in your engine and to make gasoline direct injection have a longer life in your engine